this week's pick of the week for you is General Motors, ticker symbol GM. Yeah, we talked about General Motors not long ago. And I just wanted to highlight this to everyone because a entry signal is uh, coming up for us. Let me zoom in here a little bit so I can uh, show you guys exactly what I'm seeing and why I have a little bit of trepidation. I want you to see that too. So let me zoom in here. All right. So it looks like we have found a bottom, which is a great time, as you can imagine, to be buying symbols, right? Because when you're at a bottom, the price is you know, near as low as it's going to get for that time period. And so we like to buy low and then we like to sell back high. So I got a signal right here about, uh, I think it was last Friday. Let's just check the date. Yep. Last Friday, we got a signal that um, uh, we had found a bottom. Now, this signal came at the end of the day. So on Tuesday, we wanted to verify it. Uh, or, or Tuesday, we would have tried to trade it. But one of my issues, and this is why I'm waiting a little bit, is this volume picture. So you'll notice here that the volume is below this little purple line. In fact, let me expand that out a little bit for you. So volume is the number of people who are actually in there transacting, right? And so if they're not in there transacting, what are they doing? Well, they're sitting on the sidelines waiting patiently for a moment to transact. And so if I don't see good volume, this purple line or uh, magenta line signifies the 50-day average of volume. So what I would like to see whenever I have a signal like I got last Friday evening is I would like to see heavier volume. I'd like to see volume that is um, above the average. I'd like to see volume that's heavier than the previous day. In fact, I'd like to see volume at least over the last three days starting to build up because what that means is, is not only is my trade signal validated, but a lot of people are kind of piling in. And that's how the markets work. It's when a lot of folks pile in on a decision, that's what drives the price action. If you see price action that's being driven and there's no volume behind it, it means that it could easily be pulled back. So I really haven't seen the volume picture I want to yet, which is not a problem because even though over the last week or so, uh, GM's price has appreciated about two or three bucks, it's still I'm, I'm still able to get a good entry signal on either buying some GM stock or buying some back month call options. So I almost want to wait until t uh, uh, next week to find out whether or not I've got any sort of more validation. I want to see that volume picture. And I want to emphasize to folks that volume really is the great validator, whether you use solid volume like what I'm looking at, or if you use some indicators that combine volume with price, like on balance volume or accumulation distribution with respect to volume, any of those volume oriented uh, measurements, I would take heed to because without folks piling in on that decision, you know, that decision could easily be reversed. And so my question is, does the options expiration date in the future uh, have an effect on when you think you'll get in or out, seeing as it's like a new year and all that? Well, for any one of these symbols, I have to establish a um, initial covering position. So I'm in the business. I love selling options. Selling options is what creates the certainty. And most folks you talk to where, especially if they've had bad experiences, it's through buying options, but I like to sell them, right? Selling creates the certainty. Selling creates the income. There's so much energy behind selling, but in order to sell options, I have to have an initial covering position in place. So what I'm talking about here is establishing an initial covering position. And in that case, the expiration date, unless I'm going to do a little bit of leverage, which is possible, um, the expiration date's not as important for this transaction. If I am doing that leveraging, meaning I'm substituting a call option 
for the purchase of the stock, then I want to make sure I go out really far in time. I'm talking about at least eight months, probably almost. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I go out to the September or even the January 2024 option for leveraging some of this price action. But once I've got that initial covering position in place, then I'm going to look for the uh, opportunity to sell an option. And in that case, I want to go three to five weeks out. I'll use an option that's either the next monthly, and that'll just guide me, right? Three to five weeks is what we consider near term. And those are the options I want to sell or those short term, near term options, three to five weeks out. 